a lot of you guys are bicep crazy, like I was. I mean, let's face it. The biceps are dead. Now, if you want a peak on your bicep, you have to do concentrated scoop curls, which will maximize contraction of your bicep and make that peak. You cannot do it with barbells. Barbells are mass bicep builders. Now, I want you to know something now. If aspects of trading your arm, you know, you see some guys with huge arms, but they don't have that nice peak that gives them that beauty. It's just a big arm because they didn't make that peak. That peak is essential. Tighten, you gotta get that bicep so that peak shows. Now, the way to do that, and we did that years ago, and you know what f fascinates me? All that stuff that you're talking about today, listen, let me tell you, the evolution of bodybuilding comes primarily from learning about nutrition and learning how much harder you could train than you could when we were training. When we were training, everybody was saying, you overtrain, you overtrain. Now you can't do enough. Okay, get away from that. To get your biceps to peak, you have to do what we call the scoop curl. Now you may want the hell the scoop curl is. But I'm gonna pull this chair back and give you and show you illustrate what the scoop curl does. It peaks that bicep, it can concentrate it and force it into a peak. Now, you take a dumbbell, let me see if I can find out something around here, to show you. You take a dumbbell now, and you you know like you're, you're digging something, like you just kind of scoop it up. See, now I'll show you something. When you when you do that, you don't know, I don't have the big best home in the world, but now you do that, you scoop it. You know, you, you, you don't just do a concentration curl. You have to hold the arm out, and you have to scoop it. You see, it's like you're scooping up something out of, like you're digging for clams, and not exactly like clams, like you're on a beach, and you scoop it. And you'd be surprised how it peaks, how tight it gets the muscle. Now, you go all the way up, you scoop, you scoop, you, but when you scoop, it's like, just shoot, like you're digging. See, and you, but you cannot do it standing. The scoop curl doesn't work standing. You have to be sitting down, and it's not the concentration curl. But you just sit there, you've you got to scoop it up, force that bicep to tighten up and peak. That is the beauty of the scoop curl, and that will give you that unusual arm where it's just not a mass. It's got that nice peak, you know, on it that you can't, you don't see on every everybody's, uh, all guys' uh, bicep. Nice full side bicep, but they don't have that peak. You see, very important. The bicep is compressed, bring out that peak. So the scoop is if you bend down, no concentrate, no holding against your leg, you bend down and you scoop up. And scooping is like digging. But you see, you're like you're digging, but you bring it up and you'll be surprised how you can feel it tighten up the bicep. You bring it up from down up, but do not hold it against the body. The arm must be held out in front of the body and you have to scoop it. You see, what I call the scoop, because maybe you can understand what I mean by scoop. It's like, digging up, digging up, that's the scoop. See, uh, just think of it. Now, put the dumbbell down. Just think of it. Just think of it like you're trying to, see, think you got some down in the dirt and you want to get it up. You do it, you dig down and you scoop. But remember, for it to work, the arm must hold out, it must be independent of leaning against anything, and it must not be, you can, very important, it must not be leaning against the body. It's a difference from a concentration curve. It's that force compaction of the bicep that gives you that extra peak. Now the peak will vary in people. Some people, they scoop all night, they'll get just a bit, but it's more scoop, more peak, they would have, but they don't do it. Barbells build mass, bulk, which we'll get to later. But the scoop will give you that peak. And just remember, just like hold the arm out, do not lean against the body. I'm repeating myself. A lot of guys, you know, you got to go over and over to keep on. And just go like you're scooping something out of the ground or scooping something that's deep down. You want to scoop it up, but hold it out. And you'll be amazed. And you'll feel 
the tightness of the bicep as it compacts. You'll feel that. You see, I'm telling you things. You know what? It, I, I, you know, I'll tell you the truth. These things, are, uh, we've been doing this for so many years, it fascinates us. We were like our own little laboratory. Joe, Joe Weed used to call it, when we were, years ago, Joe Weed is published in a magazine. He, every time we tell him something, he called it the Weed Research Clinic. We did plenty of that research, baby, when we had to do tried and true and stuff. We didn't have guys that don't know nothing, don't know no more about training than what they read, they have no physical, no hand on hand relationships with the body to know how it works. But now, we'll get to another exercise next time. And now maybe we'll elaborate a little more on the possession of the scoop with the other barbell exercises for the, for the bicep. The bicep is king. Nothing's in the chest, everything's beautiful, but the, everybody's that bicep.